on EA Sports. And we'll see tight end Dawson Knox. That's the Well, there is a brand new stadium starting to take shape just across the way, but for now, the action is here at Highmark Stadium in Buffalo, New York. Tonight, we polish off Week 10 with a good Monday night matchup, as it'll be the Denver Broncos taking on the Buffalo Bills. Hello, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. And, Charles, you take a look at the Bills entering play here. And they lost three straight here, and it goes without saying, I guess, they could certainly use a win. And how do they get a win? Because they've lost three straight, oh, I think it's paramount that they get a fast, clean start to this game. Meanwhile, for the visiting Broncos, oh. the shadows oh. starting to get a bit longer. Week 10 of the NFL season is here, Maybe and we're underway on EA Sports. KJ Hamler it? returning it. And, and he had a lane the 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 I, I, I don't understand. The Broncos what, offense gets set to go to work, and after the air Helm in his second supposed season supposed wearing orange and blue, Russell Wilson. Uh, yeah, yeah. you got to think that they've got to be pretty fresh. You know, coming off of the open that week, that didn't have to play, right? Yeah, Gives them a chance to rest up a little bit, heal some of those aches and pains, and excited about playing again. That really rekindles things a little bit. I want to see how they come out and establish themselves here early. And that bye week coming right where they want it in the middle of the schedule. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be Second and ten. Now Wilson. And it's just one of those things, and man, it's so much different. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. down. Now it's I Wilson. Went. And will find the open man. That's complete. And yeah, he will have the Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Oh, I think if anybody really wanted to build one of his most dependable targets, and that's who he found his tight end there to pick up the first, Charles. And you use the proper word there, dependable. Is that spark and sometimes the comeback? spectacular because tight ends nowadays, they can do it all. But they're the guys you trust, especially across the middle of the field where there's traffic. He delivers and they pick up nice yardage. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. And he's got his man on the out route. So the completion gets him just a yard, and that'll make it second down. Just yam it once. Really just a flick of the wrist, and I know he hits that. So. Unleash the arm. To throw again is Wilson. Got him close. He's got to complete to Cortland Sutton. It's and he'll be taken down, but not before he gets in the down. enemy territory. So hey, first and ten now in man. Buffalo territory at the 46. Hey, yo, yeah, check out's open. He throws it. That's what good quarterbacks do. This one's incomplete. The Broncos are two and six in the year. And they come in off the extended break from the bye. And I think it was much needed as well because you play two, two and a half months. You know you're ready for some time off in order to get prepared for the home stretch. And that and they looked at the schedule right. to start the season. I think they liked where their open week fell. Together, It'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And oh, my goodness. A third and 14. Really good defensive effort. They were all over there. Well, swing pass out to the right side with the ball short. Terrific read. Better execution and done with a lot of enthusiasm. Well, he did absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and right, caused a nice play for last yardage. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it will bring up fourth down. The defense is ready for the back to leak out, and even had a second play waiting to double him off. If you're going to commit to doubling the back, you 
better for better completion, but give him credit. Extra determination, extra effort, turn it into a successful play. Well, here come the Bills for their first possession, led out by their 27-year-old quarterback in year six. It's Josh Allen. Okay, I thought there was something to build on in last week's game by his performance. I thought he played fairly well overall. The numbers will knock your socks off. Two touchdown passes and an interception. The bottom line, though, they lost. How does he eliminate that one interception, continue to take care of the ball? And maybe increase the number of times he puts the ball in the end zone. Oh Over the middle, touchdown, John West. Oh, There's West. the ball. A big play here for Buffalo. And even 50 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, only oh, they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way down the field. That's a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball. One that they want to fix immediately. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Right, to throw a talent. A short throw pulled in by Kim Kelly. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Not quite the success they had last play. This one goes for three yards. 7 21, so a turnover trigger. App State's momentum shift. They run first carry for Damian Harris. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. In need of a conversion oh, yeah, on third formation. down. They had the big uh, play to start was, uh, the drive. Not uh, much sense. Quite the play design. The one receiver was now patch Allen. blocking. And they had two tight ends. The uh, he had a man open, but he missed him. And it's incomplete. Not sure what happened out there. We're it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. But you know I'm a I defender. A so what am I going to say? Great defense. Darn right. They did something to just Oh, there he goes. Wide the open lane. Touchdown. Sharp. Zach Wooden. 65 yards. That's a wet. This is a kicker's dream. It absolutely is, isn't it? So to me, it should be a passer's dream as well, right? In this case, the defense held out. They had to force the field goal. And this will come out to the 25 as Hamler elects not to return it. So now the second drive offensively coming up for the Denver Broncos. Coming off every player's friend, the opening from last weekend. There's no doubt about that. Even if you're coming off of a loss as they did, the opening week is exactly what you need after you kind of get over it a little bit, right? Rest up the mind, rest up the body, get yourself ready to go. And they have to be eager to play again, especially since they lost the last time out. Hey, you scored They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Broncos first down. Now, look, that wasn't a huge gain, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their loss last week. They couldn't get him going on the ground. Did you get the same feeling that I did during our meetings, that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch the ball? Absolutely. You know, he should have touched him more last week. They were going to make that same mistake, and they've taken care of the ball. I saw it I have $4. But this pass is going to wind up being complete. Oh, there it goes, Flynn. Wilson. Actually, it's not out of this, Kenzie. Yeah, not much much of a it's good to He was looking for Javante Williams. Yeah, look at this Buffalo defense. They're going to need to be strong against the run in this one. And that play right there shows it's so good against the run. He's the best one. He's the best one. He's the best one. And stopped him for no gain. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than uh, half his pass attempts in this one. And there goes Jeff Roberts in. He cuts yeah, so inside. Yeah, so let's make sure give a little bit of credit to the defense right here. They're giving him a lot to think rush. about. A lot of different looks. He seems a little bit Jeff confused Robert. trying to complete passes. Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They've got a 3 nothing lead and the football as they start first and 10. Yeah, I'm sure you'll... Meanwhile, Evans throw taken in by Diggs. And he'll be taken down. Second quarter now. Motherfucker, in Buffalo, it's the Bills in control of the football. My CCP is they've got it with a first and ten. Oh, what a play from Julius Dickens. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. Getting the first down. They'll find Diggs once more on the completion. And he'll go down to the second. Diggs inside the first. They go right 
right back to him for 20 in front of him. And another one where they go back to back. They're excellent gains. And really, it shouldn't be a surprise who they were throwing the ball to. He's their best guy. Yeah, we knew that they would get him involved early. They're doubling down on getting him involved early. Don't be surprised if they'll come right so back to him again. Play. They haven't shown you know, the propensity to be able to stop him. Over the middle, he fits it in there. Well, a guy's oh, can't first down. It's knocked away and good. incomplete. And now to compensate at least on this drive. The moment to the setback, though, for this passing game. It has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. And it's going to be Flynn. He keeps it himself. Pitch and catch to the down at State. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Count out the Mountaineers. Here's Allen to throw it. it up. If their defense can just play manageable. And they'll work it inside the 15 yard line before it's all said and done. Josh Allen, very right. athletic at six. Got a game. Show the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. Charlotte will get the ball in here. Three timeouts for both teams. They're Movement there on the offensive line, offensive line. A little quick State. and a five yard penalty. Got to get a stop. As as so that flag accepted and backs the offense up a little bit. We see any the full start backs him up five, first and 15. He's gonna come out in high formation. They're not going to run option. They're not Throwing crazy. now is Allen. That's complete Back to Davis. Call it a gain of six on right the play. play. And it'll be second down. Now for Charlotte. Brings up the second and nine. Second and four, though. They get me in well against the teams. Harris running straight ahead. And he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. Give him three yards and now they're not needing a conversion. Nobody got Jonas Brown against the first down. Allen now looks to throw. And it is caught. Touchdown, Bowles. Trent Sherfield. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Bills had a sixth in their lead. Well executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver, and that went good for six now points. And the payoff we just start saw there down the tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. Takes the hand off, though. They are going to throw it. They convert. That's a first down. Extra point by Bass. Up and good. And the lead grows to 10-0. To kick it away. Rodney Andrews in that quarterback on that play. So Browning got From hurt. He got yards shit deep. Sprints. He'll bring it out of the end zone. Also, we have a back no room to back run as he's tackled down to inside his line. Oh, man, he is that you? Getting set to take the field. Oh, Nothing for him yet from an good. offensive standpoint. I down 10 zip it. as they come up first and 10. Browning got hurt. That last carry. Barely nine. Doesn't look like they're going to put it in his hands. Here's Wilson. State's going to have to start calling timeouts. That's one of the tight end trouble. Oh, he oh, runs over. That was the chance. The yeah, that'll bring up down. second down. Zach's pissed. <laughs> Hands on hips. Third and eight. This happens every game. This is I'm the play. Really Wilson. I have right, right. Throw caught by Dulcich. So they get it out. Can somebody stop yeah, him? They stick him. And two. they kill him. The no. Oh, no. Oh, that was so close. John Moore. To throw is Wilson. Pitch. First down, down and down now it's the last chance for Ab State to first down. First down, down the is this defense unable and to hold. It's a 7 yard game there on third and two. Still We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half, 10-0, our score. So they'll get come up here. first and 10 now from the 33. Charlotte handoff, power up the gut, now and Wilson. that is a first down. That's going to end the game. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. Danny and the Broncos in the hurry up, trying to get to their positions and get set quickly. On second down, Wilson. They might run the ball. He will find his man Sutton. That's complete. And he slips up oh, past the 45 before yeah. being tackled. Was a good game there towards the end. On first down, Just Wilson. Didn't have enough time. Got a man over the middle. It's Williams. Wilson trying to urge his guys to go faster and get set at the line. 
and they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Here's Wilson to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. Now it's Wilson. Throw left sideline falls incomplete. I'm not liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been part of the shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. The kick by Lutz is good. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. So, Charles, they are on the board after that kick. So, three drives, three points. Obviously, not the start that you were hoping for, but. They're able to erase that zero off the scoreboard. Yeah, I guess what you're saying is a point of drive is not what offenses are striving for by any stretch. They're happy they've got three now. They hope that that unlocks their offense for bigger points down the road. So we are at halftime here on a Monday night. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL. We'll begin out in the windy city of Chicago, and that one is still scoreless as they play in the second quarter. Next, we head off to check out another game. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. The Bills got a terrific first half from the man on the cover. Quarterback Josh Allen. He has a touchdown pass, and that amounted to the only touchdown of the game for either team thus far. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. Bills with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. On the return, Deontay Hardy. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. So here are the Bills to take over. They are trying to snap that three-game losing streak on top so far with the football here first and 10. Allen. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half, incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target of the second half. Yeah, it should not stop them at all from going back to him. They'll find him, find him. And he will lose. 
Huge yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. They lost four there, and it's third down. Going to need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. And this is intercepted. He was trying to get it to Davis. Picked off by Pat Sertan. That is just what this defense was hoping for, an interception on the opening possession of this third quarter. Obviously didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even farther behind, and we've gotten to know this team a little bit, haven't we? Couldn't you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys, telling the quarterback, don't worry, we got you to start things off. You take it from there. So now a look at the Broncos as they head back out there for their first possession of the second half. But following the interception, they're set up nicely here, already inside the red zone, knocking on the door, if you will, first and ten. And they'll fake the jet sweep, but instead a give up the middle to Williams. Excellent job pushing through tacklers that time to pick up six. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Now Wilson on second down. And this is incomplete. Right now, the story of this game continuing to be the defenses because the offenses, they're finding it difficult to establish any rhythm whatsoever. I like how you come to us in praise of defense, Brandon, because that's exactly right. That was an incompletion for us there, but we've seen it throughout this game. Both of these defense coordinators, they're stepping ahead of their offensive counterparts. They're going to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. So kind of disappointing there. I mean, yes, they get the three, but with starting field position like that, three's not what you're banking on. No, and you just have to wonder if you can afford to let chances like that continue to pass you by. You've got to find ways to get the ball into the end zone and put sixes on the scoreboard. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll start on the ground with Harris. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. At the 27-yard line. Now Allen. That pass complete to Deontay Hardy. So the completion good for seven there. And it'll leave him with third and a full yard to go. Brings up third and one. to the air. Allen. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to have a Bills first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. They brought in a heavy set on third down and that usually means running play, but we have seen them throw out of that formation. And sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one. Wound up hitting him for a first down. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Here's Allen. Looking for Diggs, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Justin Simmons. And the Broncos are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. And this is so uncharacteristic for him this season. Back-to-back -back interceptions from a guy who's taken really good care of the ball so far this season. Got to give credit to the defensive coaches, the players on the opposing sideline. Excellent preparation, even better execution. Denver's offense now set to go. They'll have good field position at midfield following the turnover as they start with a first down here. They'll try to get this running game going with Williams. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. They run it again with Williams. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. The third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. Hook made by Terrell Bernard. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. 
second half close game, and we're certainly seeing some exciting plays, but it's really been the defensives. That's now back-to-back -back drives that have ended with interceptions. Yeah, the guys on the other side of the ball, as we like to say, the defenders, they've been the difference makers for their teams. And when they're taking their game up to this kind of a level, I want to see what happens with these offenses. Can they match them as this game goes on? Or will the defenders continue to have full control of this one? So after the INT, it's Allen. Oh, a pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. They'll give him four yards there, and it's second down. with Harris out of the shotgun. And he only manages a couple here down to about the 38-yard line. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. And they wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Space there, picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Buffalo. It's the Bills with a lead and the football here to begin the fourth quarter. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Second and 10. They hand this off to Harris. And he stopped immediately there. Now it looks like we've got a Bronco that's banged up on the play. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. The offense on third down tonight, they've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and ten. Now Allen. He's got his target. That's complete. Touchdown! Dawson Knox, his first touchdown on the year. And the Bills look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. We talk so often about how hard it is to win in the NFL when you turn the ball over, and here a late turnover leads to a fourth-quarter touchdown and a two-score lead. And what's more important is being able to take advantage when a turnover presents itself. You've got to come up with points to make the other guy pay. They're able to do so here, and they've got a pretty good chance now of winning this football game. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that pushes the lead up to 11. This fielded right at the goal line. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it's second down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. The throw over the middle, taken in. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple of scores. And they've really got to get some yards in chunks. And they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? And meanwhile, Wilson's throw caught here by Dosich. And he is down at the 48. A pickup of four that started at 148-yard line and ended at the other. Here's Wilson. Left side, Williams. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 37. Again, Wilson. 
And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Wilson. And his throw here is incomplete. Well, it looked like he marched to the end zone and hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. Pressure comes and Wilson's going to go down. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. The Broncos unable to convert here on fourth. And the Bills are going to get the football back. So still over three minutes remaining in this game, but boy, not getting that when that hurt. That's a little bit demoralizing, so they have to be careful about that because still have an opportunity if they can get some things done on defense. But now, since they've taken over on downs, a team with the ball, guess what? Going to four-minute offense, maybe they can put this thing away. Call it a gain of a yard, and that will bring up second down. Now a give, running left is Harris. And he's got it across midfield and in the Denver territory. It appears he'll be a few inches short, so nine yards on the gate officially, and it'll be third down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Try to take this home, they'll run. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. On second down, this is Harris. Now the Broncos will use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I don't like the old rule. Possession is nine tenths of the law. Possession is nine tenths of winning the game. Go for it, get the first down, close it out. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. So here is Wilson and the Broncos. Down by two touchdowns, 65 seconds remaining. Their offense has struggled all night, and now they need to find two scores late to try to pull this thing out. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. It's now second and 10 at the 25-yard line. Here's Wilson. And that's caught by Williams. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a game of four. On third down, Wilson. And a big loss here as he's taken down. The decision made for him. They've got to go. It's fourth down. Finding Sutton, but they're going to wrap him up as he'll go down well short of the first. Allen down to a knee, and that should just about do it. 
So it's a victory here for the Buffalo Bills. And they were spurred on by a strong performance in that fourth quarter as they held their opponents off the scoreboard. Everyone wants to pitch a shutout for the entire game, but when you throw one in the fourth quarter, that tells everyone that you're getting stronger and dominance is starting to take over, right? The way that you close, the way that you finish, that gets preached to you from the time you're playing Little League football. 